So in this question here, I've got a complex integral. I've got e to the pi z to be integrated. That's my integrand. And I'm going to integrate with respect to z. And my ranges and parameters of integration are i to i over 2. Now z is a complex number. Now we can represent that in three ways. So a plus bi, that's one way, where a and b are real numbers. So they're real numbers. Another way is in polar form, where z equals r cosine theta plus i sine theta. Then the other way is in exponential form, where z equals r e to the i theta. That's one other way as well we can represent our complex numbers. What we see here, r e to the i theta, could be pretty similar to this here, because I've got z is a plus b i. And that could be one way of representing it in terms of exponential form. So that's probably what we've got here. Now, what we need to do, though, first is find the integral of this. Now, sometimes an integral is easier to solve if you can work backwards to get the derivative result to be that. So therefore, if I take the derivative of something, I want that. So then I want e to the pi z as my result of my derivative. Now, when we're taking derivative of exponential terms, the input always stays. So I'm always going to end up with that originally. Now, e to the pi z, to get here, I've got a 1. Now, with that being a pi there, in order to multiply pi by something to get 1, I must have the reciprocal. So that's 1 over pi. So therefore, this is my f of z. So therefore, my integral of e to the pi z, so integral of i, i over 2, e, let's make that 2 a bit clearer, e to the pi z dz, that equals 1 over pi e to the pi z. And then that will be calculated from i to i over 2. Okay, well that should be pretty straightforward. Where I see a z, I'll plug in that and then subtract when z equals that. So let's go for that. So now I've got 1 over pi, off, 1 over pi, and then e to the pi, and then I've got i over 2, and then now I need to subtract when z equals i. So that's a 2, careful not to make sure that looks like a z e to the pi i. Okay, well, this, I've got a lot of pi's going on here, e to the pi i over 2 and e to the pi i. Well, this is just a representation of a number in exponential form. So here, r equals 1. My first theta for this one would be pi over 2. And my second value for theta would be pi. OK, let's represent those on the Arjan diagram. So that's my real and that's my imaginary. Now pi over 2, that's that angle there, pi over 2. That's pi over 2 comes to here. And my second one, pi 2 equals pi. So this is my angle there, from there to there, will be pi. So that's my angle pi. So here, on the imaginary axis, with r equals 1, this is just going to give me i. So here, I've just got i. So i pi over 2, that's just going to give me i. And e to the pi i, that's on the real axis, and it's over here, and that's going to give me minus 1. So I've got minus, minus 1. So let's put that in brackets and multiply by 1 over pi. OK, well, i minus minus 1 is just 1 plus i, if we do it with the real part first, and times that by 1 over pi. So that equals 1 over pi, 1 plus i, and that be the result of my integration of i to i over 2 e to the pi z dz. 
So that equals, I'm going to write this now as 1 plus i over pi. And that give me my answer. Okay.